So we thought there was nothing going on around here. We'd mix things up a little bit. That's the point here. I didn't clear my schedule for a hearing over in the Senate today. Um, not that I don't take it seriously. I do. Uh, I read the testimony last night, but I I've, I've didn't, didn't clear my schedule. I've been busy doing other things. First, I, th- I think people now realize why the president is so frustrated. When the FBI director tells him on three different occasions he's not under investigation, yet the speculation swirls around the political system that he is, that's frustrating. Of course the president is frustrated. And I think the American people now know why he was so frustrated, because this speculation was allowed to swirl when he was being directly told by the FBI director he wasn't under investigation. As far as the the the, the conversations and all of that, um, I'm not going to speculate on any of this. I, I would just add um, that, of course, there needs to be a degree of independence between DOJ, FBI, and a White House, and a line of communication is established. The president's new at this. He's new to government. And so he probably wasn't steeped in the long-running protocols that establish the relationships between DOJ, FBI, and White Houses. He's just new to this. What I got out of that testimony is... We now know why he was so frustrated when the FBI director told him three times there's there's no investigation of him, yet that speculation was allowed to continue. So obviously we know now why he was frustrated. I'm not saying it's an acceptable excuse. It's just my observation. He's new at government, and so therefore I think that he uh, he's learning as he goes, and he's – you now know why he's frustrated because he was told nothing wrong here, and he wants to get things done for the American people. He wants to deliver on these reforms.